making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Get some bacon then put it in a pancake. Bacon pancakes. Yep, I am. Hey y'all, it's Hans East Texas. Welcome back again this week. So recently on the Late Night Vision Show podcast, you heard Jason and I talking about how to make pig pipes. And I've got the professional pig pipe maker right here. This is my youngest daughter, Hadley. And how many pig pipes have we made so far? Um, We made three. Three. We made three pig pipes. We're about to make another. We're going to show y'all how to do it. She's going to do everything. She's going to show y'all how to do it, how to do all the work. And I am excited because she uh, she's really good, but she does not like to get any help from anybody at all. So we're going to see how this goes. But this is how to make a pig pipe. All right. So the first thing we're going to need is a, a four. This is a four inch PVC pipe and we need to cut it to four feet long. So Miss Hadley right here is going to start sawing. You want me to start it out so you can get the line on there? Sure. Okay, I'm going to start it out. And that way. Okay, we're cutting it off at four feet. This is schedule 40 inch pipe, or schedule 40 pipe, 48 inches long. We're letting her cut it. Need some help? Need some help, Pickle? Yes. <laughs> Super fast motion. Super fast when you get this. All right, watch your feet. All right, so we got our 48 inch piece of PVC pipe. Like I said, this is schedule 40 pipe. We're making a pig pipe. Next thing we're gonna do is we gotta glue this cap on the top. That way they'll lock the, two, the corn in. But before we do that, we are going to put an eye bolt into the bottom of it so we'll have a place to swivel. We're going to put the drill, the eye bolt right there. All right. Oh, man, that was quick. Okay, Miss Hadley, what are we going to do next? So next we're going to get one of this and this. That's an eye bolt. And we're going to screw it all the way to the top right here. Well, we're gonna just, we're gonna put that in the bottom. We're just gonna use one bolt. Okay. Get in there like that. And we take that. Now what are you doing? I'm screwing it on the bottom. All right, so we got our bolt mounted onto our cap. And now we're gonna glue it on. So Miss Hadley got some regular PVC pipe glue. Look at her, she knows exactly what to do. It's like it's like painting a piece of paper, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so when you get all of it, um, then you get this. Oh, you gotta put glue on the inside of that cap too. Oh, yeah. Remember? Just put a little bit in there. A little bit more. Right there on the edge. There you go. Okay. Then you put on the top. Uh, it's it's on there cockeyed. There you go. Now push it. Just nice and snug. So we got the top on. Um, then we just have to get the bottom on. The bottom's easy. Yeah. Cause the bottom. The bottom right. We're just gonna put 
a little old cheap plug. And that just sits right in there in the bottom. Just like that. And that's where you're gonna be able to open it up, pour more corn in there, put it on the top, just like that. This end, and we're gonna show it completely finished outside, but this end is what's gonna attach to a rope and, and tie, and you're gonna tether it in the ground. But we're almost done with the pig pipe. All we gotta do is drill some holes in it so the corn can fall out. Um, and when you do that, um, Do even know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> All right, so we gotta drill some holes. Now the drill bit that we're using, it's a seven sixteenth inch drill bit. And I've talked to a lot of guys doing it. They said that's the perfect size for letting just a little bit of corn drop out of the holes whenever the hogs bump it, but not too much corn. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna put about five holes in this. Uh, you can always cover it up with duct tape if too much corn is falling out. But first one we're gonna put, every time they roll it, you want a little bit of corn to to fall out. So first hole I'm gonna tell her is to put right there, about six inches on the inside of that cap. I'm gonna help her out. Yeah. Okay, pull it trigger. There you go. So we have one hole on this side. Now, so what I do is I completely turn it over 180 degrees, that way, kind of know where I'm at. I'm gonna tell her to put a hole on the exact opposite side of the pipe and the opposite end. Okay, that's two holes. So we got opposite end, opposite end. So now I'm gonna put, turn it 90 degrees. I'm gonna put another hole right here. Like I said, every time this pipe turns, every time they roll it, I want a little bit of corn to fall out. Hole there, okay. All right, you're doing a good job. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna put one more hole. Let's do one more hole right here. So we're gonna do four holes in this pipe. Okay. All right, so we have a completely finished pipe. Every time, every uh, time they bump it, there's a hole that's gonna be uh, that's going to let a little bit of corn out. We've got four holes in it, so every time they bump it even a little bit, it should let a little bit of corn out. We've got our eye bolt loop here, Hadley. What are you opening there? Um, it's like a little thingy that you can put on a rope. You can like put on different things. Yeah, so this is, it's a swivel little latch. So one end is a latch that latches to this eye bolt uh, or, or you know, piece of rope or whatever, and then that swivel allows it to turn without getting caught up and getting in a net or a knot. So basically, uh, this thing will be able to roll and not get knotted up, whether you use, I'm, I like to use paracord. Uh, you can also use a chain, um, you know, whatever works best for you, but we're gonna go outside right now and show you how it looks when it's completely hooked up and ready to go. All right, so this is, oh, this is Lefty. But we are back outside. This is the pig pipe that we have already made. It's been sitting out here for a while, as you can tell. Four foot long, four inches in diameter. We've got the holes in it. You can see, we've already put corn in it. So you can see when you shake it a little bit, some corn falls out. So what we wanna to do to make this thing throw up even more of a scent is we're gonna put a little bit of scent bait on it and this is just kind of a uh, corn syrup based uh, bait. And we've also got some powder bait. So what we do with this, Miss Hadley, I want you to pour a little bit of this just along the top of this pipe. Just pour just a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot of bit. <laughs> it's hard. Okay, all right. Oh, it bad. Yeah, it's it smells bad to you, but it smells good to the hogs. So with that, the powder, we're gonna sprinkle the powder on there too because the powder will absorb into that syrup, throw up even more of a scent. I don't know. Maybe it's overkill, I don't know. Maybe it's too much, but we're gonna just dump a little bit 
a powder on top of that syrup part. Yep, you can use your hand. You, you can throw a little bit more on there. Get you a handful. There you go. There you go. Put it on that syrup. Just let it, because it'll once it hits that syrup, it'll stick on there real good. And that way it'll stay. Throw you up there a little bit more. All along here. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. All right, so you can see we got the swivel right here. This is just a different swivel that we put on last time, but this thing swivels so when they turn it, uh, if you're using a chain, it won't twist the chain all up or a rope. This is, I've got a paracord. These are things that are pretty strong. It's held up, but you can really use anything. I have it uh, kind of tethered to the ground with this piece of rebar that I hammered into the dirt. Um, really, there's a lot of different things you could do for this, but this is what I, I'm just doing right now. But lay that pig pipe out, put a little corn around it, put that scent, uh, scent stuff on there, the syrup and the powder, whatever you want to use. There's corn in here, obviously dry corn. Uh, you don't want to put wet or soured corn because it will uh, it'll stick and clump up and it'll make it harder for them that hole to, uh, the corn to get out of the hole. So every time they turn it a little bit more, we'll uh, get them to come to it even more often. But that's how we got it tethered to the ground. Just a piece of uh, paracord, got your eye bolt, got a swivel. That's all you need. What do you think? It looks good and... Think a lot of hogs are going to come get it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you, Miss Hadley. Thanks for being on my video. All right, so that is how to make pig pipes. Thank you for joining us this week. Please subscribe. Please like. Go check out the Late Night Vision Show podcast. This is how to make pig pipes. And we're going to get a bunch of hogs in there. Keep making them bacon pancakes. We'll see you all next week. Bye, guys. See you next time. Bacon, bacon. Pancakes, bacon, bacon, pancakes. Put some. You don't even know the song. What? Sing it again. Come here. Bacon, bacon, pancakes, bacon, bacon, pancakes. Put some pudding in, pudding in a pancake. Bacon, pancakes. <laughs> 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 thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can do so by just clicking on the Hansi's Texas logo right below me. Also, the Late Night Vision Show podcast. To subscribe to that YouTube channel, just hit this logo right here to the left. And to watch related videos, you can hit right down there in the corner. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, liking, and keep making them bacon pancakes.